This was stunning. This was an $83 million verdict, ladies and gentlemen, $83 million verdict. And I'll tell you, the lawyer for Donald Trump, Alina Haba, she was pretty upset. She was very emotional. She was furious. You can just feel her anger, I think, like coming right through the screen. She has this pretty passionate appeal that she's basically making to the cameras after Trump was hit with that $83 million verdict. Don't forget, he walked out of the courtroom. He didn't walk. He stormed out of the courtroom. The judge and he had been going at it. The judge, Judge Kaplan, went after Alina at one point and was like, basically, hey, you know, you keep this up. You're going to be behind bars. So watch her here. This is Alina Haba, his attorney, and she's just livid, absolutely livid. I want you to see it. There was no proof, and I couldn't prove that she didn't bring in the dress. There was no DNA. There was no expert. My experts were denied. Two of them, two of them were denied to come in. They didn't bring, let me bring up that Reed Hoffman funded Ms. Kaplan. And you know what we got in there? That my witness, who was her friend, who said that she is a drug addict and the drug addict is herself. That friend I found out in there was paid for by Ms. Kaplan's firm. And that is disgusting. That is a violation of everything I stand for. And that is why I stand with Trump. And that is why so many Americans are so proud that he is running again and so excited to run to the ballot box. But don't get it twisted. We are seeing a violation of our justice system, ladies and gentlemen. You are not allowed to be stripped of every defense that you have. You are not allowed All right, to be so told. So you're getting an idea now about Stay with this, stay with this, Donald because Trump's they kind of mock her, and it's annoying. <laughs> attorney is perceived as effective as she is, which is not particularly effective. Uh, Laura Coates, um, if you could truth squat a little bit of this, uh, Alina Haba was saying that Donald sure. Trump was, was not allowed to introduce uh, defenses. Uh, what is she talking about? She's talking about nonsense and she's trying to rewrite history. And I honestly would not be surprised if she herself okay, so is now they're going to snicker and they're going to make fun to, of her. And this, that, um, and the other. But here's the thing, guys. You know what? She made a very good point in that they're trying to, to use lawfare to stop him. I don't know the particulars of this case. I mean, I've just heard it uh, the way you guys have, which, um, you know, look, it's a defamation case. And so I even wonder about the lawyer, like she might be risking something, right? Like now she's in trouble because is that defamation because she kept it going? I don't know. But the fact that he kept doubling down, that, that was the issue. But the $83 million, that's kind of nuts. And I think that what's going to happen ultimately is that people are going to say, hey, you know what? They're going after him. They could go after me. And that has been a very, very effective strategy. And by the way, it's a real strategy. It's not hocus pocus. They shouldn't be snickering at it and thinking it's a joke because this is a real strategy. If you have someone who has just lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit, you know, maybe some of them are just, again, I'm not going to judge them. I mean, I have the New York one as well, but like, let's, let's put that aside for just a second. The fact that there are so many and that they've done this so many times. And every single time they come up empty handed. And by the way, they probably will hear too, $83 million. It's going to get appealed. And already there are new twists. For example, Alina and her team, they're alleging that Kaplan, who was Jean Carroll's lawyer, was actually a mentee of Judge Kaplan. By the way, no relation, two different Kaplans. But they're saying, wait a second, how is this fair? Because the judge in the case, he's known this woman forever. She was mentored by him, et cetera, when they worked at a firm long ago in the 1990s. However, in her defense, Roberta Kaplan's defense, her representative said, you know what? No, that, that's not true. That Judge Kaplan and Roberta Kaplan, they barely knew each other. They overlapped for less than two years in the early 1990s at a large law firm where she, he was a senior partner. She was a junior associate. She never worked for him. So she was not mentored by him, et cetera, et cetera. But this is what the team is digging into on the Trump side. We'll see, see what happens. But regardless, Jean Carroll is out there doing a victory lap. Of course, you know, this was 
quite a verdict, $83 million. Whether or not she eventually gets it, we'll see, but I want you to see her on CBS just this morning talking about how she wants to campaign against Trump because everything's political right now and she can go after him. He can't, he can't defend himself because that's defamation. Remember, that's the $83 million suit. Watch. Said that when you've actually faced the man, he's just a man with no clothes on. Yeah. It's the people around him that are giving him the power. What do you mean by that? Well, uh, Hans Christian Andersen's great fairy tale, The Emperor Has No Clothes, that is written about Donald Trump. It's just, we're the ones who clothe him in all this power. Mm. He has none himself. It's his followers. It's his hangers on. In the court, they were strutting back and forth and handing him messages. It was, right, Robbie? Ms. Yeah. Curry. Ms. Curry, you say he's nothing. You say the emperor has no clothes. The emperor is trying to run for president yes. again. And, and right and, now is leading. And right now, the polls suggest uh, it's a <laughs> coin flip. It's very close. Um, have you heard from Joe Biden's campaign arm about potentially campaigning against the former president, Donald Trump? No. Are you interested in doing so? Do anything I can. Mm. That <laughs> wow. So um, they, they can sign her up along with Taylor Swift, it sounds like. <laughs> We're going to talk about Taylor Swift because they're looking at her. She'd be quite the surrogate. Can't you see the two of them there headlining, headlining everything together? Look, no matter how much they keep throwing at him, he really does seem to be 